cute little chloride Miss Salty Sodium's forgotten sister. They call her four-eyed chloride because she's super nerdy and always behind the scenes. But guess what? She's not anymore. She's back with a new look, bigger and better than ever. Today we're wrapping up hyperchloridemia. Hyper meaning high, chloride meaning, well, chloride, and emia in the blood. Serum chloride levels above 107. Now, chloride's main function is to help her sister's salty sodium to maintain blood volume, blood pressure, and the pH balance of your body fluids. Regulated by sodium, her super salty famous sister. Now, the main causes that increase chloride will be nearly the same as high sodium, this hypernatremia, since chloride follows sodium. So the list of causes are trauma or head injury, dehydration causing hemoconcentration, like from severe diarrhea, which causes metabolic acidosis. All that fluid comes out of your acidosis. Hyperparathyroidism could cause hyperchloridemia, as well as respiratory alkalosis, which is basically hyperventilating or blowing out all that CO2, that carbon dioxide. So I call it respiratory al al alkalosis. Kind of like you're panting like a dog, hyperventilating. All right, guys, so signs and symptoms and nursing assessments for high chloride. Well, what's going on in hyperchloridemia? Well, high, high chloride, right? And since chloride just follows her salty sister, Miss Sodium, around, well, guys, you're going to have the same signs and symptoms as hypernatremia, that high sodium. Everything in the body is going to be big and bloated. So starting at the heart, it's going to be big and bloated. Your vital signs will show hypertension, basically high blood pressure. EKG will show dysrhythmias. The lungs, you'll have rapid, deep respirations called tachypnea, leading to respiratory alkalosis, this hyperventilating, as mentioned before, it's basically blowing off too much CO2, that carbon dioxide, which I call carbon diacid. So when you blow out all your acid, you're left in the alkalosis, this base state. So I remember this alkalosis for respiratory alkalosis as al 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 basically like you're panting like a dog, breathing too much, hyperventilating. Neurologically, you'll have a big and bloated brain, so ICP, intracranial pressure, as well as cognitive changes. Basically, altered level of consciousness, ALOC. Now, the GI and GU, you'll have diarrhea as well as diuresis, a lot of peeing. The muscles will be big and bloated. You'll have lethargy, fatigue, and weakness, and sometimes so bloated that you can't even move. All right, guys, now that we know the causes, what are we going to do about it? So, guys, some nursing interventions for high chloride. Well, it's a very simple fix. We're just going to really treat the causes here. So restore fluid balance, usually through IV or lactated ringers or normal saline. And then we can also sprinkle on some sodium bicarb. This usually will even out the chloride levels, kind of like this. All right, guys, that wraps up hyperchloridemia for high chloride. All right, guys, that wraps up our lesson here. We'll see you in the next video.